Tech Dork here. I'm looking again at the CMS uh, data market application for readmissions death. And this application happens to be um, the one that I wrote a blog post about and showed how I could do alternate states um, within ClickView. And within ClickView, uh, if you've been using ClickView for a long time, you know that alternate states just come in the box. And when you get ClickSense, I, I know that a lot of people panic and say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, alternate states aren't there. And so I knew as I wrote the blog post, I would have to do a little bit of a, a post on how to do it in Sense as well. Alternate states are there. The, the engine is the same. Um, so the back end is the same. The whole point of Sense, um, as, I, as I've tried to share for years now, um, is to make it simpler for end users who are trying to do self-service. So we're, we're supporting a governed self-service model. And alternate states are something that end user business analysts would think of. And so for heavy duty coders, um, it is there. You just don't have the dialog boxes that's there. And so that's what you need extensions for. And so there are two extensions that you would need. So if you go to branch.click.com, all you got to do is search for alternate states, and you might as well go ahead. I've just put the initials here. I'll actually post a link to the actual extensions in my post. Um, but if you search for alternate states CSW, that's Christopher Schwartz, who's written these, and um, Chris actually works for Click. And the reason I've mentioned that is so that you'll see these ones in blue that are his. There were some that were original, and when we changed some of our APIs, those extensions broke. And so do not use the older ones. Use the newest versions that are by Chris Schwartz. And you're going to get the alternate states actions as well as the set object state. And I'm going to show you what the difference of those two things is here in a second. So let me go back to my application here. What you'll see is I've created two sets of list boxes um, for each of my, my things. And I could have three, four, five, same as I could do in, in ClickView. And what you'll notice is man if I, I they're the same thing right because they're sharing the default state and what i need to be able to do is i want to say this is part of state one this is part of state two and any other states i want i've got to create those list boxes all my expressions and everything will be the same so there's nothing that's going to change it's just how do i get a dialogue to let me set that and so that's where these extensions come into play and so the first extension, probably the most important one, is called set object state. And so I'm going to create this and then show you what this does. Right now, these are part of the default state. If I make a selection, it, it's the default state, and that is going to show up up here in my breadcrumb trail. What I want to do is tell it that this is part of state one. And so what I would need to do is first, I would add whatever states I need, state one, state two, state three, state four, I can create those things and add them. I've already created them. What I need to do now is pick an object. So all I'm gonna do is move my mouse over. I, I click the little orange box that pops up. I say, hey, I want you to be part of state one. And then I pick another object and I'm gonna say, hey, I want this guy to be part of state two instead and I want this guy now notice as I'm moving here you've got to be really careful we want that orange checkbox not the thing that's going to extend um, to the whole screen I'm going to set that as state one I'm going to pick the next object no you can't do multiple picks at one time um, sorry I, I get that's a little bit frustrating I'm going to set that, and I want to go ahead and pick these other ones now for state two. And notice, as I'm doing these picks, it shows me, hey, this object is part of state one, state one, state one, state one, state two, state two, state two. Oh, I still need to set this. And I'm going to set that object, and I'm going to pick my final version here. And I'm going to set that. And one of the things, when I've got this object on the screen, I could now remove this if I choose, 
um, because I've set the states that I want these in. We're going to do one more thing before I do, but we've set our list boxes. If I click this little orange box down here, it will pop up and show me again. What state are my objects part of? And I also can see these, these IDs for these things. So if you're familiar with DevHub and you've used it to pull objects out for API calls or mashups, you'd be familiar where you've seen these types of IDs before. I can click that again and turn that off. Now if I pick, notice that I can make settings that have nothing to do with the other one, the same that I can do in Click View. They're completely isolated, and oh, by the way, there's no breadcrumb trail because they're not part of the default state. Well, now I've got an issue. I want, I want to clear these. I need to be able to say, hey, get rid of these selections or get rid of these selections. That's where this other extension comes into play. This one is called alternate state actions. And so I'm going to create a box here, and I'm going to create a box here. And this one is actually pretty simple. All I have to do here is choose what state that is going to clear. And I can say state two. And now I can come here and I can say, oh, I need you to clear those and I need you to clear those. And now voila, we've got the ability to do alternate states in sense just using these two very simple objects. As I mentioned, I don't need to have this object on the screen at all. I can get rid of that. And so I could remove that from my screen and I'm good to go. Um, so now I can go ahead, I could do any of the same expression code and refer to these states that I could do in Click View. Um, so very, very pretty simple stuff. You add those two extensions to your screen and you're basically good to go then.